who can make things very difficult for anyone, as he did against Mike Tyson, steps into the ring and gets ready to face Evander Holyfield. He's a fighter. And he's got to land the overhand right, if at all possible. That's a guy who can fight. And we take a look at Evander, the real deal Holyfield, coming out. <clears throat> and that's a face, Al. And that he went 12 rounds with him, pushed the brag off in the last round, and just a year or so ago fought Nikolai Valuev, who the fans giving Evander Holyfield some love here at the Thomas and Mac. And in the Bragamoff fight in particular, he is fight. against a Botha. Two fighters toward the end of their career. We expect it to be entertaining, to be perfectly candid. I, I think we'll see if they do, and we hope they do. This crowd. Francois, the White Buffalo Botha. Evander, the real deal, Holyfield. Protect yourself at all times. Obey my commands at all times. God bless. Touch up. Touch up. Come out very aggressive. Evander Holyfield, the more cerebral of the two fighters. Evander in the white trunks. Franz Botha in the black trunks. Evander Holyfield, a much lighter fight. Has gotten heavier as the years have gone on. But still, Holyfield stepping inside using that left. Botha punching out of the clutch with a little right uppercut. Oh, the big right hand by Franz Botha. To the body, a monstrous right hand. This is when Botha, as we um, beat Franz Botha and had a draw, and uh, Botha just kind of clubbed Holyfield on the head with both hands. That was an odd maneuver. Just his will physically on Holyfield. Holyfield missing with a wild left hook. And Holyfield kind of willing to, to, to muscle on the inside. There again, cuffing the head of what, what is it odd about? maneuver. Boy, and to do it three times. Yeah. Both uh, using his jab on the outside. There's the overhand right that he landed. Point about Holyfield using his head to his advantage. As we take a look at the clutch there, three of those in round number one. As we take a look at the four-time instances with both. He controlled, for the most part, the first round. Broken by Moore. And really usurping... Holyfield, his will coming out. Holyfield being aggressive, using that body. The Holyfield jab has yet, not yet become a big ball. right hand. Was ball? Oh, Holyfield takes another right. Halfway through round number two of a 12-round scheduled Last heavyweight two fight. fights. I mentioned there's a good right by Holyfield that he did. Maybe, yeah, arguably, probably is. You traveled Taking all the situation. way. To Both. Uh, Again, controlling this round. Not as important, but nonetheless, a start that both have really wanted to have. And you're right. He'd like a start like this, both. And the body work's been really impressive by Franz Bart. There's the overhand right that was round. his best. And the body work of both of And the right hand that I don't think it really hurt Holyfield, but just kind Monica, of a pretty accurate run, the white buffalo. Yes. Both fighters with biblical uh, references on their shorts. They're not showing a lot of... Uh, Coming forward, you could feel like he wants to establish his jab and throw some combinations. just hasn't been able to do it. Russell Mora both, having issues with both in the first round for that ear slapping. That went away in round two. Both his but, game plan is very simple. Commander get off any combination. And so far, that game plan has been effective, and he's executed it very well. Yeah, he really has. And well, I, I think it's kind of a race in time. There's the question of Holyfield's age Both as normal fading after six or seven rounds. So which will be accurate like as it was in the first two rounds? Nice left hook by Both that gets in. Ever throws. So that's a surprise. Evander tying up Botha. You, you know, I, I as it, Holyfield oh. lands that good right hand, I'm not sure it's helping balance. It just. Uh, and tough guy he's got in spades. And a nice flurry to end round number three. So we took a look at Franz Botha. Here is Botha attacking. And he had landed a decent hooks that were effective. And that's the Holyfield right hand. That's a little bit. And again, there's Tommy Brooks uh, working with him in the corner. Tim Hallmark is ready for this fight, but he's not been that active so far. Trip Mitchell, Al Bernstein calling the action from ringside. Glad to have you with you. 220 pounds, a good weight for him. Both of weighing in at 250 pounds. 
uh, shoulder issues that made it impossible almost for him to throw his signature left hook. His you know, both of that jab is very, very quick. He's not pressuring both, and part of the reason why both of them may uh, have those lapses after the fifth, six rounds of fights is if you push it. punches. He is a right hand by... Finally, a nice right by Holyfield. Yeah, after a right hand by Botha. The uh, clubbing right hand, but that was the counter right hand that Holyfield... fight has not started out the way he wanted. Now, maybe his strategy is to tire an eighth. But in truth, he's put himself behind in the cards, one would likely think. Coming in as a four-time world champion, Franz Botha... A game fighter who's gone up against some of the best. There's that overhand right, and then a right hand that bodied straight low, and another. Both fighters a little wild with their punches. Both are landing, excuse me, Holyfield landing a nice right hand. Both are committing again to the body, which I think is a, a good Is that an opportunity for Evander to come in? Well, it would be, but Evander has not been quick, and that was a good right missing hand? with those left hands, and that's... You know, in some respects, he land, just landed a very good right hand. He feels but both are extracting a lot of punishment, working the inside. This round has been probably the most uh, one-sided of the fight. Make a we know he's <laughs> Chanting his name. And Holyfield steps in. Holyfield always doing a good job in the last five seconds. that for about another one, 255. Way. See an example of that the right hand, and that was a good right hand, followed by a right that straight a little low, and then he see. threw yet another one to the body. And as I mentioned, Holyfield walked into that right, and, and through five rounds, Evander definitely on his heels. It's time to see whether Evander Holyfield can use his will and his Frank tremendous... has given every round to both of Good, it's by Holyfield, though. He wants to change that, doesn't he? And you're in a situation where Holyfield is, is almost taking those holds and those clutches and using them for a breather. And then, he, uh, Holyfield's had a better round than he's had in any of the weapon pre- form. And what a difference in both of them as he walks back now not punching. Boy, this fight is following a script. Yeah. Hey, Holyfield, left hook by Holyfield works that right hand in the body. A good shot. Whole different look to this fight here in this round. He is landing better. Oh, shot to right hand by Holyfield. That left led it. Now you see Botha just kind of tossing his punches off. Holyfield working inside, showing a lot of power. Oh, big right hand by Holyfield. And follows in. Botha, very happy to get out of this round, number six. We'll see how Evander Holyfield... The last round. The left hand very low from Botha, and two right hands get home for Holyfield. And obviously, Tommy Brooks, his trainer, uh, is going to be happier with that oh, effort. But unless he can come back and make a very Tommy, wait, level of fight, can turn very quickly. Round number seven, oh, world champion, taking it to both in that round. And it continues here in round number seven. Better is because both has allowed him. Oh, nice right by Botha. But Holyfield has taken advantage by these. Well, and, and we saw the right hand by Botha land, but it didn't stop Holyfield from coming. Both of them low shot. Holyfield connecting with three big laps to the head. Seeing history. Boy, big right hand by both of them. Powering into Holyfield. Style. Well, this. Now, that's a sign of fatigue. And, of course, his hands are very low. Crowd reacting to a right hand by Holyfield. Holyfield, as is the custom, closing out the round well. Takes on some sustenance. What are his corner people? Holyfield, as we look back at some of the the left hooks that Holyfield kept cranking up. Even though his his right hand was kind of held. To finish off, France Botha. Holyfield, a 30-pound weight disadvantage. Botha definitely dragging through the last three rounds. Botha, however, able to... Oh! Botha down. And both are having some trouble taking it. That right hand had a lot of power. Right. See if he can stop him. It's early in this round. 
And they'll step in. Evander. France both up. Well, it, you said it It followed a better ones for this man, Franz Botham. And you think of he the hook as the main Holyfield punch, but that was an overhand right that had lots of power on. that would create some problems for him. There's the right hand. And at this juncture, Russell Moore is stepping in. It was the impression that Botha was not going to be able to defend himself. And 47, Evander Holyfield gets it done. Heavyweight champion of the world. Evander, the real deal, Holyfield. Back. For my partner, Al Bernstein, I'm Trip Mitchell saying we'll see you next time. Thanks.